Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. Today we are talking about National Income Accounting Numericals. Under National Income Accounting Expenditure Method. It's of course one of the important methods from the board's exam point of view. Maybe you get a numerical for six marks. It is too simple before you venture to do the numericals understand the formula which I gave you in the beginning of the class. In expenditure method you recollect we take all the expenditures in the economy during an accounting year to obtain GDP at MP gross domestic product at market price. You recollect what all the expenditures were taken during an accounting year. We take all the expenditures in the economy. Number one, private final consumption expenditure. This is done by the households on buying all kinds of durable, non-durable good services. Number two, government final consumption expenditure. This is done by the government in construction of roads, street lighting, parks, defense, administration. You won't have any problem in the private final consumption expenditure, government final consumption expenditure. And the third, second, third one is the investment expenditure. We call it as gross domestic capital formation, GDCF. It has uh, two components, gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock. Change in stock again is equal to closing stock minus opening stock. Gross domestic capital formation is equal to gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock. And the last one is net exports. You add up all these. These are the total expenditures in the economy. Net exports is equal to exports minus imports. So I repeat once again, private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation plus net exports. Net exports is exports minus imports. When you add all these four expenditures, you get GDP at MP, gross domestic product at market price. From GDP at MP, if you subtract depreciation, you get NDP at MP, NDP at MP, net domestic product at market price. From NDP at MP, if you subtract NIT, net indirect taxes, NIT, you know it, is equal to indirect taxes minus subsidies, you get NDP at factor cost. This is nothing but domestic income. To this, you add NFIA, net factor income from abroad, you get NNP at factor cost or national income. That's national income. That's it. So, I repeat, private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross investment. That we call it as gross domestic capital formation. That is equal to gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock. And to this you add net exports, net exports is equal to exports minus imports. When you add these four expenditures, you get GDP at MP, gross domestic product at market price. From this subtract depreciation net domestic product at market price, you subtract NIT net indirect taxes, net domestic product at factor cost, which is nothing but domestic income. To this you add NFI, net factor income from abroad, you get net and NP at factor cost or national income. Let's see one numerical which came in the board exams. They give you calculate national income which is nothing but NNP at factor cost. All the values are in rupees and crores. Follow the values carefully. They are given you net current transfers from abroad. Rest of the world is 30. What is net current transfers from abroad? We never take this into consideration while calculating numericals. You remember I taught you when I was teaching all the methods, we don't take any kind of transfer incomes or transfer payments because they don't lead to any production. They are absolutely free. No bilateral production happens in place of them. So we never take it. So this just ignore net current transfers from rest of the world. Then you have private final consumption expenditure. Of course, that's very important. Net domestic capital formation. Since they're given you net domestic capital formation, you add to this depreciation, you get gross domestic capital formation. 
if you don't add depreciation you get NDP at factor cost if you add depreciation you get GDP at market price so change in stock it has no significance here because they're given you net domestic capital formation please don't add change in stock unless you get net domestic fixed capital formation if they're given you net domestic fixed capital formation you will be adding change in stock depreciation they're given you as 20 government final consumption expenditure is 200 net exports 40 40 net indirect taxes nit is 80 and uh, you have net factor income paid to abroad paid means uh, we pay it to the rest of the world 10 so we take it as minus 10 pay net factor income from abroad you recollect the formula is equal to factor income received from abroad minus factor income paid to abroad factor income received from abroad is always positive factor income paid to abroad is always negative we take the net value now how to do this numerical simple to calculate net national product nnp at factor cost or national income put the values private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation gdcf that is equal to gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock but in this case they given you net domestic capital formation to this you add depreciation you get gdcf if you don't add depreciation you get ndcf to this you add net exports x minus m x stands for exports m stands for imports when you add these private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation plus net exports you get gdp at mp gross domestic product at market price to this you from this you subtract minus depreciation you get ndp at mp step by step from NDP at MP, if you subtract NIT, you get NDP at factor cost, which is nothing but domestic income. To this, you add NFI, net factor income from abroad, you get NNP at factor cost, which is nothing but national income. So you just pick up the values. Private final consumption expenditure is 400. You got 400 here. And government final consumption expenditure is given here. Government final consumption expenditure is 200. We put the value here. And gross domestic capital formation, since they given you net domestic capital formation 100, this is your net domestic capital formation 100. To this you add depreciation. Depreciation is 20. We just put it the value here. 100 plus 20, it comes out to be 120. Then to this you add net exports. It is given here. That Directly x minus m 40 when you add up these 400 plus 200 plus 120 plus 40 760 this is nothing but your GDP at market price minus depreciation minus 20 you get NDP at market price minus NIT minus 80 NDP at factor cost to this you add NFIA you get NNP at factor cost or ultimately national income that is 650 that's simple I repeat once again the formula for expenditure method memorize it put the formula first and after that pick up the values you automatically get the answer private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation which is equal to gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock plus net exports exports minus imports when you add these four values you get gdp at mp from gdp at mp subtract depreciation you get ndp at mp from ndp at mp subtract nit NDP at factor cost, which is nothing but domestic income. To this, you add NFI, net factor income from abroad, you get NNP at factor cost. That's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching and uh, practice numericals. Till we meet next time, best of luck for your board exams. Goodbye from Saddam Hussein. And mind it, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Bye bye.